into these few minutes that we can spend together. And when we think about how the calendar falls on this day, it is actually our last meditation time together in 2022. And so we will start together again on the first day of the new year. But for right now, let's just settle in where we are. Into that spot that you have found in your home, wherever you are, that is your space. That when that alarm goes off or that reminder comes, it says, it's time. It's time to be still. It's time to be quiet. It's time to be in this present moment. You make your way into that spot and you just settle in. It's amazing how familiar it comes and there's a lot of power in showing up in the same spot in the same space every time. There's familiarity, there's also safety and security where you feel like you're just kind of being held in the space where you are. So as you are in your space and I am in mine, Ram Das tells us there is just one us, which is pretty fantastic. So whether you are seated or lying down, let's just settle in and begin to gently close our eyes and then take a long, slow, deep breath in and gently let it go. And another long, slow, deep breath in and let it go. A couple more like that, long, slow, deep breath in and let it go. And one more. And exhale it out. And then just be a witness to your breath. Just allow it to come and go. But I would also encourage you that if your mind starts to wander in these minutes that we have, come back to this breath. And just tell yourself, slow breath in. And then let it go. But as the mind finds its way to this present moment, to this beautiful awareness of what this moment has, you can just let the breath come and go. So I pulled out one of my most favorite quotes for this last meditation time of 2022. And I don't think that Thich Nhat Hanh would mind if after I share his quote with you and we just sit with it for a second, I'm gonna change it up a bit and use it as a way to help us set intentions for this new year. But one of my most favorite things that this incredible man said is waking up in the morning, I smile. 24 brand new hours before me. I vow to live fully in each moment and to look at all beings with eyes of compassion. What a way to live each and every day. So just sit with that for just a second and for a moment, just reflect back. How did you wake up this morning? How did you feel when you first got out of bed? And it's not a judgment to yourself if you didn't wake up jumping up and smiling, but just remember this morning, how was it? How does it feel or how did it feel when that alarm went off or the sun began to wake you up or the cat or, or whoever it was? How did you feel this morning? And then just kind of reflect on the minutes that followed the waking up. Did you embrace every moment of this day? I wish I could tell you that I did. I wish I could tell you that I didn't waste any of them. Did you look at all beings with eyes of compassion? I wish I could tell you that I did that as well. But what our meditation time allows us to do is we show up and we hit reset. And so let's just think about tomorrow morning. I'm gonna say these words again, and let's just seal this commitment that tomorrow morning, whether it's the alarm that will awaken you or the dog or the kiddo, or just the, the body waking up after it's done resting, let's just see if we can embody this sentiment that he shared so many years ago. Waking up, Tomorrow morning, I will smile, knowing that there are 24 brand new hours before me. I will vow to live fully in each moment and to look at all beings with eyes of compassion. 
So let's just sit for just a, a few breaths and see if we can let that commitment just kind of sink in. We set our tone and we haven't even woken up tomorrow yet, but we can already set the intention for it now. So just continue to breathe. And let the words just hang in the space between the two of us. And then I'd like to take his quote and change it just a bit more. Because on Sunday, we will turn the calendar. We'll go to bed on Saturday night and it will be the year 2022. And when we wake up on Sunday morning, a new year will be with us. And so can you just imagine yourself saying these words on Sunday morning? Waking up. On this Sunday morning, January the 1st, 2023, I smile. 365 days are before me, brand new, full of potential. And I will vow to live fully in each moment of those 365 days. And I will commit to look at all beings, including myself, with eyes of compassion. Just imagine if there were many, many of us waking up on Sunday, January the 1st with that idea. What could that do to our community? What could that do to our world? Our meditation practice reminds us to hang on to this present moment. I don't want us to get so far into the future thinking about all the days that are coming, but I do want us to set an intention. For some of us, we'll choose a word for the year. Some of us will have an affirmation or a mantra. Some of you maybe have the old tradition of setting resolutions. It's going to look different from person to person. But what if a commitment that could spring out of our meditation practice could be that when we wake up on January the 1st, we will smile. The regret of the year that's passed will be gone. The feeling stuck or paralyzed by the disappointments and the traumas we've experienced will be gone. Our stories will still be there. There are still paths that we'll have to walk. But let's not enter this new year stuck or regretful or paralyzed. Let's vow to feel big. Let's vow to love big. And let's vow to live big. So I'd like us to do in our moments of quiet, for just these next couple of minutes that we have together. I'm gonna to say it a few times and I'm gonna take it with the breath. And so instead of waking up this morning, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch that. And again, I don't think that Thich Nhat Hanh would, would mind that I'm taking a little license with his amazing quote. But I'm gonna say that breathing in, I smile. One more moment is before me. I vow to live in it as fully as I can. And I vow to look upon myself with eyes of compassion. And the way we have compassion for ourselves is we exhale. We take in this breath of life and power and then we let the stuff go that we don't need. So again, across these next couple of minutes, let's breathe in. And you may not physically smile across your face, but maybe you just smile inside. Or maybe you just start to commit to smile more often. And then as we exhale together, remember that is the most beautiful act of compassion that you can show to yourself. Let it go. So as we're remaining where we are, settled in and hopefully comfortable, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in and smile. And then as you exhale, 
Feel the compassion you have for yourself. Breathing in, we smile. Breathing out, we show compassion. Breathing in, we smile. Breathing out, we show compassion. One more time, breathing in, we smile. And breathing out, compassion. If you need my words, just keep them in your head as we grow quiet. Otherwise, just stay focused on the breath. Stay focused on the power of this present moment. you hear the sound of the chime just bring your attention back to the space that we're sharing together but just stay where you are either seated or lying down with your eyes closed breathing and then I would invite you if it feels comfortable to bring your left hand and put it right in the center of your chest right there at the heart center and allow your right hand to come somewhere around your belly I want you to feel the breath I want you to feel the compassion. I want you to feel the joy as we take these few final breaths together on this last meditation of 2022. Notice how when we breathe in, our hands will rise and how when we breathe out, the hands will deflate just like the body is letting go. So breathing in, I smile and breathing out. I feel compassion. Breathing in, I smile. And breathing out, compassion. One more time, breathing in, I smile. And breathing out, I show compassion. You can allow your hands just to go back to where they were and I wish that I could guarantee you that 2023 will be filled with all the good and none of the bad and none of the struggles. But I know that suffering and hardships are part of life. But I also know that when we embrace life with a smile, a vow to live fully in the present moment and with eyes of compassion, we view our suffering and our hardship very differently. We don't allow them to make us hard or broken. And somewhere along the way, we start to realize that even through those, breathing in, we smile. And that, my friends, is my wish for you as we close this year out and we meet again on the other side. Namaste. Namaste.